Awesome with your daily Google news and Google just rolled out performance max campaigns for everyone. Um, so if they're not in your uh, campaign yet, I noticed I opened up a few of our accounts and some of them had them, some of them didn't. If you don't have them yet, don't worry. I'm sure they're coming. Um, this is something we got to beta a year ago or so. And, and to be honest with you, they kind of fell flat for us, but I don't think that that's, I wouldn't write off performance max campaigns entirely just yet because it could have been, it could have been us the way we were using it. Uh, the fact that it was, we had, you know, early in, in the beta. Um, but, uh, uh, what Performance Max is, let me just jump to this article real quick. I'll include both of these articles in the description of this video. Um, campaigns is a new way to buy Google ads across YouTube, Display, Search, Discover, uh, Gmail, Maps from a single campaign. So Performance Max, I love that after strong beta results, really, uh, really, uh, Performance Max is like the smart shopping for lead generation. So you don't have to have an e-commerce feed. Although what's really interesting is Google went on to say next year, smart shopping and local campaigns will both upgrade to Performance Max to help you access new inventory and increase sales. I don't know what that means. I feel like smart shopping already does what Performance Max does. So, I mean, maybe they're just going to house them together, but I don't understand why this would need to be said. The other thing that's interesting to me is that Google says retailers and advertisers with physical business locations should continue to use smart shopping and local campaigns during this critical holiday season. That's interesting. They just roll out this big new badass toy, but they're telling you not to use it or not to put all of your eggs in this basket, which kind of makes sense. They're like, look, this just came out of beta. This is the most important part of the year. Don't make any great big sweeping gambles. Um, the thing that most excites me about Performance Max, though, is value proposition number two. I think that Performance Max is going to give us the opportunity to get in front of people using Google's uh, intense sniffer, which I am just a huge believer of, uh, believer in right now. Like, I've, I've you know, been the boy who cried wolf often enough as far as, you know, Google's automation and the flaws in it. But man, are they just able to really, really sniff out what it is that people want to do. And so I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, let's build a Performance Max campaign together. So if you click this little plus bubble, say new campaign, choose the objective, obviously. I'll say leads. Um, this, if you're not familiar, Google's conversion goals, this is relatively new. I just shot a video on this too. You can find it instead of our channel. But yeah, you're, you're going to optimize off of uh, uh, groups of goals that you choose. Um, that's not what this video is about though. And then we continue and you can see, you know, you're, you're tried and true, but then all of a sudden, here we go. Performance max. Um, and let's do, so I remember to delete it. Uh, this is going to get scary for all of us. So your budget is your budget. Notice that because we're using smart bidding, you're, you're basically based off of uh, TCPA or, or ROAS. I wouldn't include either in the beginning. You want to see what Google can bring in, but I wouldn't set a target cost per action, um, which this is pretty consistent with um, most of our training. Uh, you know, if you're running a smart shopping campaign, you don't apply a T-Row as. If you're running DSA, you don't apply TCPA right out of the gate. You want to give it 30 to 60 days, 30 to minimum, um, because you want to be able to see what the ecosystem looks like and give Google the opportunity to figure out exactly how it is that it's going to operate in this ecosystem before you put constraints on it. It's my opinion. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, after that, Choose your geography. This all works the way that normal campaign settings work, so I'm not going to dig too much into this. I would keep the English uh, or the language setting here intact. In search, we tell people to take the language off because they're searching by a certain search term. This is the, Google's entire ecosystem, so apply whatever language settings are applicable. The more settings are everything that you're normally used to. Um, now we're going to build our assets. This is your ad group. Think of it as your ad group. They're calling it an asset group. That's fine. Um, this is where things get nuts, y'all. So uh, let's do solate.com. Um, we're going to go get our images. So uh, what's first of all, Google just scanned my website and is now giving me all these images. And note that when I go in here and have to figure out the aspect ratios, it's pretty restrictive. But you're used to this with you know dynamic search ads and things along those lines. I'm just picking random images. I wouldn't actually use these to advertise with. Uh, this scan feature is really cool, by the way. They'll scan your Facebook page. They'll scan your Twitter account and then bring you more uh, images if you want more images to be brought. Um, here we go. This is great. I love that one. Aha. Cool. We use Google Ads to make you money. Save. Uh, now, I want logos. Oh, don't have to upload a logo. Google's got it right here. Note that the favicon is really what they're going for. If I try to upload my logo, then Google just says, no, um, nice try. So uh, I've got my logo. I've got my images. Videos. I can just go, let me get my channel real quick. Just go give Google my YouTube channel and then just choose a bunch of videos based off of that channel. Um, now, let me just enlarge myself here. 
uh, be strategic, y'all. I want to show you how the Performance Max campaigns work and how they're being built, so I'm just uploading crap. But realize that this is going across the entire Google ecosystem. That means that your videos are going across Google's display network, not just YouTube, which means maybe you want subtitles on them, or maybe you want things that have a lot of movement, or maybe you want shorter form videos so you can get um, included in certain inventory types where longer form videos wouldn't necessarily play, those types of things. Be strategic the same way you would be if you were building a video campaign. Just realize that Google's going to decide from an algorithmic perspective what it is it's going to show where uh, which again is super kind of like you know scary this is scary uh, headlines view suggestions again I wouldn't necessarily actually go with these but we're just gonna go with Google suggestions awesome uh, long headline uh, we use Google Ads to make you money you should like that cuz money duh oops duh uh, I would obviously be, you know, title case and all that other good stuff. Uh, your descriptions, by the way, Google's descriptions are really good. Um, probably because they're just pulled from my site. Uh, call to action, automated. I would recommend keeping this in place. Um, because we're in machine learning world, it just, I, it strikes me as, as intelligent to stick with the machine. Um, let them choose the automated call to action. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Uh, oh, business name, of course. Uh, how you want your business name to show. Solutions 8. Uh, and then I would always use uh, the display path um, because it's another opportunity to sell. So now I scroll up here and I can see, oh, this is what this might look like inside of YouTube. Gmail. Search. Search. Display. Discover. Um, and they'll actually roll. This will roll different types of media. So Google's going to take everything that you're giving it and throw it at just about everybody. This is where it gets nuts. The audience signal, notice I haven't defined keywords, right? Like we haven't told Google where we're going. Um, so we're going to build an audience together here. And uh, if I could freaking type... Um, your custom segments in your data, you know what these are because you've built custom audiences before. Um, so you can use your pre-existing custom segments or your pre-existing data in order to target people. You can also use uh, interest-based uh, interest segmentation. So we've got you know, in-market audiences, affinity audiences, demographic-based um, data. So uh, this is all the targeting that you should be used to inside of Google. You know, I'm only going after parents, which is a demographic uh, data point. Um, or I want people that are interested in those types of things. You can search here too. So if I wanted to, I could say like marketing and advertising. Um, marketing strategies, digital marketing companies. Uh, these are both in-market audiences, so this is somebody who's maybe potentially willing to hire me, uh, which is, you know, what I want. Um, what's my advice here? This, well, it's hard for me to give you advice because I didn't make Performance Max work yet. So, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that maybe we got too stringent. So what I'm going to say is what I think could work for Performance Max is what's currently working for um, YouTube, which is go broader, go broader and rely on your conversion actions. The whole thing is meant to bring about performance. So just give Google your conversion actions. And I'm not telling you to have zero targeting, but I think what we did wrong is we thought that the strategy was in the targeting when I think the strategy is in the optimization. So I would, I would encourage you to zoom out, you know, at least one or two standard deviations further than you normally zoom out. Um, and then you can, if you want to apply demographic data where it is appropriate uh, in some instances like in my business I don't think this is necessarily appropriate but you know if you're a Montessori school uh, mom makes that decision and does that search and that's an you know an 80% data driven truth so I you know be going for females I know the, the rough age of mom you know 25 to 40 and they're definitely parents so this becomes really easy for me to do instead of a Montessori school um, but once you've got your audiences um, I don't think I need to keep this to keep going we're going to go build our extensions. Google puts three extensions in front of you. And then you go and you launch your campaigns. And that's it. And that's it. <laughs> that's It's nuts, y'all. It's nuts. It's just like if and when this works, it's going to be really exciting because it's going to have made Google Ads a lot easier for a lot of people. Um, I don't think it's going to replace some of the more strategic approaches. But I do think it could be a, a phenomenal supplement. The same way that DSA supplements smart shopping, I think Performance Max could supplement search campaigns. So really encourage you to play around with it. Uh, like I said, we haven't crushed it. For ourselves, 
we haven't crushed it just yet. Uh, we you know there's a couple of beta campaigns that have performed at least above mediocre or, or average. Um, and you know that's interesting because it, not everything works for everything. So I guess I have to remind myself of that as often as anything anybody else. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. And you go out and you test it and you try it. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.